Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about cloth diapering. Yay! We're also gonna take a sneak peek into the nursery, so let's get straight into the video. The reasons why I'm choosing to use modern cloth nappies is because one, they're environmentally friendly, two, they're financially friendly, and three, I just think that they suit our lifestyle. They'll be much more comfortable for the baby because they're breathable. It will help prevent nappy rash. There's just so many great reasons to use them. So I'm excited to start my cloth nappy journey soon. I bought two different sets of cloth nappies. This is definitely the better brand. Um, as you can see, the material is so much nicer shiny compared to this. This is just like much more of a cheaper material. This brand is Biddy Boo. They're just so much better quality. They have all bamboo inserts. They have double inserts for nighttime. Whereas these are Chinese cheapies. Their inserts are microfiber so they're nowhere near as absorbent as the bamboo. They're still nice. These make up the bulk of my collection. We have about 31 of these nappies in different colors and about 11 of these. I really do want to invest more into these but I'm just going to see how we go. I'll probably buy some more bamboo inserts to put inside these. Hopefully these don't leak. This is my first time using cloth nappies so it's going to be trial and error from here. So all of the Chinese cheapies are multi-sizable which means they grow with the baby you can just clip them down depending on whether they're a newborn or a toddler or walking. You can also increase the waist so they fit with your baby. But the Chinese cheapies have this pocket that the microfiber insert goes into. As you can see, I've taken it out. The negative thing about these nappies is you have to change them every time. You can't just swap the inserts over because the insert goes inside the nappy. Microfiber doesn't absorb the wee as well as the bamboo. I have a few of the bamboo inserts which I'll add to the pocket of the nappy just for extra absorbency which you just place back inside. So the Biddy Boo nappies come with inserts that just clip onto the inside of the nappy. This has two inserts which they recommend is better for nighttime. So you're probably wondering what you do with the nappy once it's got poo or wee on it. Well, that's actually pretty easy if your baby is exclusively breastfed. So you just dump the nappy into a dry pail with lots of airflow and you don't even have to worry about it until you wash it, which they recommend every two to three days. So as soon as your baby starts solid, you can no longer just throw the nappy into the wash. You actually have to scrape out the poo. Now, I know that's pretty gross. What I suggest is buying the disposable inserts, which you can get them from any supermarket or you can buy them online. You just place them inside the nappy. The liner will catch the poo. You just take the liner out flush down the toilet, put it in the bin, whatever you want to do with it. Then you can just chuck the nappy in the wash and it's as easy as that. Now, you may be thinking that's a lot of washing, but it really isn't because after your nappies have been through a rinse cycle, you can just put in your normal clothes and wash both of them at once. The money you save on modern cloth nappies is so crazy. I worked out that if we were to buy one year's worth of disposable nappies, it would cost us around $900 for average price nappies. Our cloth nappy collection cost us $100 to get started with. The electricity and the water is about $100 a year just for the extra bit of washing. That's a $700 difference you save per year. Like who would want to just spend all that money on crappy nappies that are just going to be chucked away when you can have such cool patterns with cloth nappies and different colours and they're Fun, they're quirky. Why wouldn't you cloth diaper? I highly recommend doing your research, checking out the benefits of cloth nappies because they have me completely convinced 
this is the room. The theme I've chosen was a little bit boho. I went with aqua before I even knew the gender and I wanted to throw in a few greens and I do eventually want to put a few yellows in just for a pop of colour. So we haven't set up his crib yet because he will be staying in the bassinet until he's about three months old. This is his wardrobe and I haven't really got much organisation going on. I just have his clothes organised from size 40 to 30 to 20 plus and then I have larger clothes put away in the blanket box. I have a few of his nicer clothes hanging up which is sorted from 30 to 40. Um, depending on his size I'll probably switch it over to either smaller or bigger. So that's his bassinet. It has a blue mandala sheet and just a grey throw blanket. It will soon be going in our room. This is just his blanket box which I'm using sort of as like a table and a second chair for either Isaac or if we have visitors. That's just a candle my mum made for our baby shower. It smells like cupcakes, it's so nice. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this topic then please like this video, subscribe, leave comments below and maybe we can talk about more cloth nappies.